Good job. So today we have to start prayer. Could we do an activity today? Yeah. Prayer. Oh yeah. Do you rewrite it? Yes, you have to write it. Prayer. We have to start with the beginning of the prayer and it will take two, three sessions until we will end the prayer, okay? Two, three days? No, two, yeah, two, three sessions, two, three okay. days. Okay, let's just start. The first thing you have to do before you will pray. Make wudu. Uh-huh. Is the chat list ready? Before you will pray, you have to check some of the things in your checklist. Checklist? Yep. Yeah. Checklist. What does that mean? Number one. Number one. Wudu. Are you in the state of wudu? Yes. If yes, then you can go ahead and pray. Yes. If no, then you should go do the wudu, okay? Okay. Second, the place where you are praying. Place should be? Please. Good. Place should be clean. So let's say if your younger sister, Mariam, have done either pee pee or poo poo in that place and you are praying in that place, is that prayer valid? No. Because pee pee or poo poo in and itself is impurity. And you cannot pray in the place where you have impurity. So either you have to clean that place. Or you can pray at some other place, okay? Okay. This is clear, hey, Yes. Means imagine you are doing sajda, you are doing ruku at that place where poop and pee is there. Oh. It won't be good, right? Yeah. We didn't even have done that before. Yeah. Third thing, you have to check before you will pray. Clothes should be good, clean. Is this obligatory? Yeah. If your clothes are not clean, then your prayer won't be accepted. When I say clean, what does it mean? Uh, impure. Impure. So basically, no poo poo and no pee pee on the clothes. clothes. If, if, let's say, if you're not going into the restroom and if you could not control and you pee in your pants and then you are praying in the same pants without washing your pants. Will your prayer be accepted, Hibba? No. Why? Because you have to wash your pant or change your pant and take shower, okay? Because now your clothes are not clean. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. And then your body is also not clean. You have to wash your body also. Everything should be clean. Yes. So instead of wudu, I will actually say the entire body should be clean, okay? Do we write the two? Yeah, remove the wudu. Body should be... Is it clear? Hey, yes. What does it mean? Who can explain these three things to me quickly? Um, yes, hey, Fatima. Body should be clean. You have to take a shower. Alhamdulillah. Ya Alhamdulillah. Ya Hadikum Allah. O Yuslih Balakum. You have to keep your body clean. Yeah. And then? The other one is you should pray in a place that is clean. And then? And then your clothes should not be dirty. Good job. Can you give me an example, Hibban? I have one. What will happen, Hibban? Look at here, Hibban. When your prayer won't be accepted, can you give me an example of your clothes or place or body is not clean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Place should clothes be clean 
Yeah, can you give me an example when your clothes are not clean? Good job. Good job. If you were going to pee in your pants, then your clothes are not clean. And if you are peeing in your pants, most likely it will touch your body. Pee pee will touch your body. Pee pee will touch your body. So your body is also not clean, right? Yeah. So you have to do body bath. You have to clean that and you have to change your clothes or wash your clothes, right? Yeah. And if that place where you're supposed to pray also did you did pee pee or boo boo, you have to clean that place. Is that clear? Yeah. Otherwise your prayer won't be accepted. Can I give another example? Wait. If this checklist is fine, your body is fine, your place is fine, your clothes is fine, then move forward. Is it clear, Hibad? Yes. Yes, Fatima. Can I give another example? Yep. Your place should be clean. For example, if you pray in a place where uh, your mother has to do something in the kitchen, if you pray in your in your in your mother's your father and mother's bedroom, and you see your mother was taking taking a shower for your sister, so it was a really big mess. So you can't pray there. No, we can. We can pray. Yeah. No, we are talking only about clean. That's it. Clean. And what is impure? Poo poo -po and pee pee. Remember this. Poo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's discuss number four. Number. Four. Remember the conditions of prayer. <laughs> ah, remember? No, Fatima. Just tell me. Remember? Yeah. No, those are the conditions. You <laughs> should be in a qibla direction. You should. You should tell wait, the time wait, prayer. wait, Fatima. You should be in Qibla direction. This is a checklist which you have to check every single time you pray. Is my body clean? Is my place clean? Is my clothes clean? Am I facing Qibla? Is it clear? And the timing of the prayer. Good job. Is it clear? Yes. And then also intention, okay? Intention. So uh, let's say if you are praying Zor Salah Hibban, what you will do before you will start your prayer? Checklist. Good job. Start. First. Body clean. Okay, you may, did one. Body clean. Second. Place should be clean. Okay. Third. Clothes should be clean. Okay. Fourth. Qibla action. Okay. Fifth. Ta the time is. Okay, can you pray Zor Salah uh, in the night? No. Why? Because it's in the it's in noon. Good job. Abba. But he's speaking. Raise your hand. Don't speak when someone else is speaking. And what else, Iban? Intention. Intention, okay? What is intention? Intention? Yeah. Which if you are praying Zohar Salah, what is your intention then? To pray Salah. To pray which Salah? Allah. Uh -huh. If you are praying Zohar yes. If you are praying Zohar Salah, then you should say, okay. Obviously, you have to speak in your heart. You don't have to speak out loud. Okay, I am praying Zohar Salah. Four Rakaat Salah. Okay, Fart. Obligatory Zohar Salah. Allahu Akbar. You don't have to speak. You have to think in your heart. I'm praying Zohar Salah, I'm praying obligatory for Raka. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Aura. Good job. I was coming on that. Mm -hmm. And your aura must be covered. Aura. Okay. Hibban. Do you know what is aura? No. Okay. Do you know now? Aura for men and aura. Uh -huh. What is aura for men? Belly, belly button to the knee. knee. And for women, the entire body? The entire body except hands to the wrist, feet and feet. Good job. Entire body except the hands up to the wrist, face and feet. to the feet. And for the men, navel to the knee, belly button to the knee. Okay, this must be covered. So this is also the checklist. Okay, Ipan? Okay. And final thing you have to check is wudu. Purify. What? Uh, wudu. You cannot pray without? Wudu. Is that clear? Yes. 
Good job, mashallah. Okay. So these are the checklists. Before you pray, any prayer, you have to keep in your mind. Is my body clean? Is my cloth clean? Is my place where I'm praying clean? Qibla, am I facing towards Qibla? Time. Is it the time for the prayer? And nowadays you can check the Azan clock, Azan app on the phone. Intention. Which Salah I'm praying? Aura, is my Aura covered? Can we pray in underwear, Hibban? Mm, no. If you are wearing only underwear, nothing else, you cannot pray. Fatima, same to you, you cannot pray. Your entire Aura must be covered, is it clear? I don't do that. No one does that, right? Yeah. Because you are standing in front of Allah, how can you do that, right? Yeah, and then, Wudu'a. 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 Okay. And wudu have to be done properly. These are the condition, a uh, checklist, checklist of the prayer. Okay. If this is completed, then you can start your prayer by saying, Allahu Akbar. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Should we just do the review and discuss tomorrow then? Yes. Yeah. Good job. Can we come in the front and do something? Yes. Come. <laughs>